One of the first international situations facing Barack Obama might come from Russia, where President Dmitry Medvedev says he is going to deploy missiles near the Polish border. Medvedev made the announcement in his first State of the Nation speech. The saber rattling is in response to American plans to deploy a missile defense installation inside Poland. Medvedev also blamed America for the current world financial crisis and the Georgian conflict. At the same time, Medvedev expressed hope that when Obama takes over in the White House, he will work to improve relations with Russia. Dennis Sandoli is a professor at George Mason University's Institute for Conflict Analysis and Resolution, and he joins us now in Washington. Mr. Sandoli, this is so cold war of the Russians, is it not? Uh, yes, it is, Mr. Matheson. I think um, uh, President Medvedev has a mixed message uh, in his comments. Uh, one is the bellicose saber-rattling, uh, which again is in response to uh, President Bush's initiative to uh, deploy 10 interceptor missiles in Poland and a corresponding radar system in the Czech Republic. And for months, uh, while we've argued that these missiles were not a threat to the Russians, the Russians have been saying, yes, they are a threat to them because there's nothing in Iran, which is the apparent American target of the missiles, that could ever conceivably approach Europe. So Medvedev is delivering that. That, that message is bellicose. It is uh, Cold War-like. But on the other hand, he's also holding out the hand of friendship. And I think what he's doing, Mr. Matheson, is basically firing a shot over the bow of President-elect Obama, saying, Mr. Obama, I know you got two wars. I know you have a global financial meltdown, but don't ignore America's relations with Russia. Mm. Uh, we should point out that these missiles that Medvedev is talking about aren't that big a deal, right? They're short, the short-range missiles? Yes, they're called the Iskender. Uh, which is Tur Turkish for Alexander, from Alexander the Great. The Iskander missile system has a range of about 250 miles, and normally they deliver conventional warheads, not nuclear ones. So, so when we get this bellicose message from Medvedev, perhaps he's speaking, in terms of the bellicose anyway, for a domestic audience, but the fact that he's putting up these short-range, not-a-big-deal missile against uh, what the Americans plan to do in Poland, he's offering in some way a way for Obama to come to him and work out a deal. Absolutely, because in Mr. Obama, Mr. Medvedev is facing probably the most conflict resolution friendly president in American history. Uh, a man who's willing to sit down with uh, anybody across the table to uh, sort out their uh, differences. And I think what Mr. Medvedev is doing is uh, assuming that he feels that Mr. Bush's deployment policies are kind of in the pipeline and might sort of uh, gain some traction by the time Mr. Uh, Obama is sworn into office on the 20th of January, I think what Mr. Medvedev is doing is saying, Mr. Obama, work with your foreign policy advisors now in the next couple months to make sure whatever Mr. Bush has put into the pipeline does not see the light of day. Interesting to me what you said about conflict resolution friendly. On the other hand, doesn't this new president have to be careful that he doesn't appear to his own people as a potentially weak president who can be bullied? Well, that's always an interesting um, caution, and uh, we have to take into account the perceptions of those Americans and others worldwide who were supporters of Mr. John McCain. Uh, and, and, of course, as we know from Mr. Obama's speech last night, and indeed Mr. McCain's speech last night, uh, seating the election to Mr. Obama, both men wish to bring all Americans together. But that could be undone if, during a crisis, Mr. Obama is seen to be dropping the ball. Dennis Sandoli, thank you very much, sir. Nice talking to you. Thank you, sir.